Hey guys, Moose here. We are back with another episode of Stone Hearth in our Ascendancy playthrough, and we are starting out with an invasion that I did not want to deal with previously. At the end of the last episode, I guess we forgot to loot some stuff. I have to keep an eye out for that. Not sure how much there was, but... Where are they? Okay, so there's these... That's not the whole group, then there's this guy. That's... Or oh okay is that bigger than normal because they're thinking four isn't all of them but eight all right well given that they're already over here i'm gonna sound the alarm like i just did there and let's see what happens here wait who are you shooting real dude are you just fucked? Like... Could you not? Yeah, you're fucked. I, like, this is stupid. I'm actually pretty mad about that. But, whatever. I give up. Like, honestly, fuck it at this point. Uh, so far, this seems stupid. Like, having them separated is not doing anything for us. I appreciated the recommendation, but... It, it's not doing anything. So I'm just going to consolidate them so I can give them orders more easily because having them separated really doesn't help. Uh, worst case scenario, I'd separate out the clerics, but honestly, I don't want to give... Like, so far, all I've done is give every order three times, and it's just obnoxious. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. You guys are just fucking up my door. No, you're not even doing anything. All right. Let's go up to... No, we'll keep it at speed two or one here. Let's say, come fuck this guy's day up. Or, no, kill that guy first. I didn't see him there. Let everyone get back to work here. No reason to hold him up any longer. And come can murder... No, no, no. Kill this guy. Alright, so we're going to need another archer. I think at this point we say... Oh shit, do we have... Um, we're back to having three... You know what? Just leave it at three archers for now. I don't even... I'm tired of replacing people. It's really starting to frustrate me a great deal. So... Murder the healer. Quickly, please, if you don't mind. Murder the other healer. Also quickly, please. And then once that's done, we're done. Alright. A little strange that they were shooting arrows through a closed door, but I'm not gonna... I don't really have an issue with that. I only really have an issue with the... Stupid... Like, the running away thing really has to be changed. It's just not... It's a terrible mechanic. I've harped on it before, and I, I won't go into it again here, but they really, like, that's just not a good mechanic. But that's a game we're playing right now. I guess I got into another skirmish. Hopefully not life-threatening, and hopefully you guys all actually went. Yeah, it looks like you all went. That's good. You killed these guys too, so that's nice. Alright, well, this is pretty much autopilot from here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But, uh, poor bastard's armor is still out here. Actually, let's see if I can promote that guy. So I've been playing the Division lately. Oh, you're level 6. Wow. Okay, well, oops. <laughs> My mistake. But yeah, I, uh, I don't really know why. I guess I just, like, I felt like there were some games that I owned that weren't on Steam, and I, obviously I was right. I had a few on Uplay, which is terrible. But, you know, I installed it because what the hell. I enjoyed... What was the one game on there that I really liked? Watch Dogs. Yeah, I know Watch Dogs wasn't exactly the most well-reviewed game there was, and there's some serious issues with it, to be sure, but... At that point, I don't think I had played GTA V yet, so I liked it. And honestly, I liked the setting a little bit more than I liked uh, 
than I liked uh, GTA setting. Like, GTA is funny, but it's a little bit too gratuitous for me. Watch Dogs was a little bit more in line with kind of what I'd want, I guess. I didn't, like, I, I recognize it wasn't perfect by any stretch, but I don't know. I was okay with it. It was fine. I, I just, I didn't have any of the issues with it that other people were having. I never had any performance issues, I don't think. Or anything like that, so... I recognize it's not an amazing game, but I enjoyed it. And, uh... I haven't been playing it, but that's just, you know... I've enjoyed it. But, uh, what I have been playing is The Division. Which is okay. I'm pretty terrible at it. I kind of like it. Because I enjoy... I guess I enjoy the, you know... I don't want to say gunplay, because there isn't really any. But, like... Well, I don't know. Do I, I do I wish it was more or less like Borderlands? I genuinely don't know. Yeah, they're not working on this at this point. That is frustrating. Fuck it. Nothing we could do. The tower was doomed to fail from the very beginning. Not a damn thing we could do about it, unfortunately. Good luck removing that ladder. No shit, town items are full. You don't fucking say. Hopefully this will mitigate some of the issues we've been having lately with people standing around doing nothing. But now I can sell all those stupid fucking windows. I'll keep the doors. But yeah, the, the bed was doomed to fail. There was no way, or the, sorry, what did I say? The tower was doomed to fail. Is, I, I don't know what I, I genuinely don't know what I just said. But what I meant to say was the tower was doomed to fail. That took long enough. And there just wasn't, it wasn't working. I don't think there's any getting around that. It sucks, but it wasn't working. There was no way it was working. So we're going to have to consolidate everything and then hopefully get this disassembled. I can always delete it, but I'll have to look up the command again. I forgot what it was. Maybe I can figure it out. Uh, what am I doing here? Whatever. I'll deal with it later. It's not really a big deal. Just a ladder. So yeah, that opens up another area where we could build, but I don't know if we even want to build. We might just fill all the stuff in and be done with it. It's not going to look great, because how could it? But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's really, like, I, I wish you could just place dirt back. Maybe there's a way to do that, but I'm not familiar with it. But yeah, I've been playing The Division, and I guess thinking about it, I wish it was a little bit more like Borderlands and the variety like from a variety perspective like a little bit less real but at the same time I kind of I was never into Borderlands as much as other people I always felt like the variety that that game had to offer was false you know there wasn't actually that much variety in the guns and I felt like I was cheated when they initially released the first game because I bought into it pretty hard and they don't they never had the variety that they claim to have they just didn't you know they said oh millions of guns no no there's not millions of guns there's a millions of guns that are not usable because they're unbelievably bad and there's maybe five guns per hour of gameplay that actually you can use and of those three of them are same as ones you already have they're just higher damage and it just it never I probably pissed some people off by saying that. You guys disagree with me and enjoy Borderlands. I know it's a popular series, but it just never did it for me at all. It just wasn't something that I enjoyed playing at any point, really. I played through the first one. I think I picked up the second one, I think, and it just, like, I couldn't even get past the first hour or two of it. I just, I couldn't make myself enjoy it. And... The Division, 
has some similar issues, I guess. It has even less variety in guns than Borderlands does. But then that's not really like the point of the game. To me, the point of Borderlands is 100% variety of guns. And like, oh, I get this one. It's like a... It's a revolver that the bullets explode. Or it shoots rockets. Or it triple shot. And it's like, okay, well... That idea is fun until you see the implementation and realize that really there's no serious difference in the gameplay. And then it's just kind of frustrating because you you were promised so much more and it just never came and that it, it frustrated me so eh, that's life did i sell something that we needed to build Ooh, fuck well that was fast great at least it was just a worker but for fuck's sake like this I know that you shouldn't play on speed 3 if that's an issue, I guess, but fuck. She's probably dead too. Alright, well... Let's see if the military will listen now. Yeah, see, she got fucking three arrows from full health and just, just gone. Not a single fucking thing she could do. That's a little bit bullshit. You get three arrows fired at you, at your worker, and they're just vaporized instantaneously. I'm not going to take ownership for that death. That's that's on the or the other one. That's bullshit on the game's part. Which is a good transition, and one of the things I like about the division is that yeah, you can argue like enemies taking like a million gunshot wounds to the head to kill is like cheesy and like, not real. I kind of like that, to be honest. I, I sort of prefer that to Borderlands, where it's like... You know, you have the boss enemies that are tanky as fuck, but... Otherwise... Either your gun is nowhere near enough and they take forever to kill, or... It is, and you have a revolver that's great, which was how I, I basically just got a good revolver and then killed everything in like two or three hits. And then everything that wasn't a, a slightly better revolver was basically useless. Because it would be categorically worse. And at that point... And, you know, I'm... I'm probably pissing more people off now because these... Now I'm starting to get into things that you could argue are false. And you could say, well, you're playing it wrong or I'm doing some... You know, basically argue that I'm doing something wrong and that's fair. I, didn't, I probably didn't play Borderlands the way that I should have if I really wanted to enjoy it, I guess. Maybe I fucked something up there, but I don't know. It just didn't work for me. But yeah, in The Division, I don't know. For whatever reason, I'm, I'm okay looking past the that one issue that a lot of people have where it's like, well, why am I shooting this one guy, wait, putting like hundreds of bullets into him for him to die? It seems kind of silly, doesn't it? And yeah, it's a fair criticism, I understand it. But I, I kind of don't mind the RPG kind of element of it. In fact, I kind of like that. It's more interesting than... You know, every shooter feels like... Alright, well, if I'm using one of the guns that isn't shit, I'm just going to melt enemies. And the only way the game can get harder is if they throw lots of them at me. Or make them kind of bullshit and unavoidable from a damage perspective. Where it's just, alright, well this guy's here and he's going to hurt you, so you better hope that you find the med packs and don't leave them alive long enough to hit you twice. And if you manage to do that, then you'll be fine. Otherwise, you're fucked. And I, I just kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't really gotten that far in the division anyway, so I don't know what I'm... Maybe I don't... I don't know. I think I still like it, even if I'm not that far in. And maybe I'll find stuff about it that I'll get sick of it quickly. I already did, because I've had that for a while. But, whatever. I don't know, I'm having fun with it. I've gotten, like, maybe four or five hours of entertainment out of it. Is that enough to justify the purchase? Probably not. But, you know, life goes on. I think that might have been one of the ones I got for free with a graphics card at some point. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. 
I don't have the DLC or anything though. I recognize that there's like a survival mode or something that that's cool that I might try at some point, but I don't really have any incentive to invest the money in it right now. I don't really see the point. I'm pretty happy with the options. I like really right now what I want to do. I started up like I was talking about Factorio a little bit in the previous uh, Raya's Children episode and why I don't really want to jump into doing a series on it right now because I'm watching other people play it. But that's not going to stop me from playing it myself. And I've been playing it myself and I just kind of like lost like five or six hours in it and just kind of like, oh shit, I've been playing this for a long time. I didn't even get that far. I don't even have science going. I've just got freaking copper and iron. That's literally it. But I had a hell of a time with it. So, completely different situation from Divi the Division, where I'm making similarly little progress, but kind of like... I think it's a similar kind of enjoyment to... Uh, to something like GTA, actually. It's sort of a... Uh, you know, you just kind of go around doing tasks. Like, I don't know why, and I had the same reaction to... Uh, to Final Fantasy 15 as well. I kind of like the side quest spam. I don't know why, maybe I've played too many MMOs now and I'm just like, this is my life, but I'm enjoying the side quests, whether that's in The Division or FF15 or FF14 for what it's worth, or uh, GTA, like all the, or, or Watch Dogs as well. All those games having the kind of bullshit side quests, whatever, it's, it's fun to me. And I think probably the thing that I really maybe enjoyed because it was a little bit of a break from the norm in Watch, Watch Dogs was uh, the kind of PvP ones, because they were structured in such a way that I wasn't absolutely fucking terrible at them, as opposed to the Dark Zone and the Division, where basically I'll make it for about 10 minutes at the most before I either eat shit on a wave of N uh, NPCs for like five or six deaths in a row over the course of like 20 minutes maybe killing one or two of them with without getting any drops or having another uh, another player come by and kill them and then take the drop so i get nothing or i get one shot from behind by some dick player with a sniper rifle which happened like five or six times and that, and I didn't even, none of the times that it happened did I have any loot whatsoever. So there was no reason for them to kill me, none whatsoever. But they did it anyway. Whereas in Watch Dogs, they actually usually won. Don't know why, maybe Watch Dogs players were worse? Who knows? But yeah, I'm, I'm better at the slower pace stuff. But sometimes I get good, like, it's weird. And I only really, so Overwatch is my only sample right now that I actually play for actual kind of player versus player stuff, but uh, in Overwatch, usually I'm pretty bad and I have the videos on YouTube to prove that, but every once in a while, like maybe half the time, I will be really, really good and, you know, get like three to four golds. And I say half the time, I don't, not, I don't get three to four golds half the time. That's not what I meant. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this properly. I will be a part of a team that steamrolls, and I will be more than just a passenger for that ride. And maybe that's shitty matchmaking, and I'm inclined to believe it is because having such variability in my skill level is strange, but some games it just feels like I'll, I'll you know, I'll play Farah and I'll land every damn shot. And it's just like, without fail like hey there's a zenyatta you're getting two shot you have nothing to say about it anyone that isn't tanky you're getting two shot and it just goes on and on and sometimes i lose those games too it's not always just a steamroll but i don't know it's weird sometimes i'm on my game sometimes i'm not and it's frustrating when you're not on your game i think the only competitive game where i was actually kind of on my game almost always was league of legends but that's because generally you win or lose by farming and kind of having an economy going for the most part until it gets into the late game and everyone's kind of even you finish your build and everyone else has to 
then it's a different situation. But usually I was playing characters that were very, very face melty anyway. So I, you know, I'd, I'd blow my combo and destroy the fuck out of someone and then just die. <laughs> or, you know, pull out and live to fight another day. That's a possibility as well, but usually not. But yeah, generally I'm not very good at the PvP stuff. But every once in a while, it works out. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to tell me how much of an idiot I am about Borderlands in the comments. I'm sure I probably pissed off a lot of you talking about how I don't like Borderlands. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Just never really hit the spot for me personally. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next one. Good night. Or not good night. What am I saying? It's night for me, but it's probably morning for you guys on a holiday that hopefully you're sleeping in for. What I meant to say was take care. <laughs>